Well, summertime is here and it's time to break out the barbecue. Hi, I'm Joey Altman and I'm here today to share with you some great tips and recipes for grilling sausage. This recipe is a takeoff on buffalo style chicken wings. It's my buffalo style sausage sandwich and it starts with grilling some sausage. And today for this recipe, I'm using three different types of sausage. I've got the sweet chicken apple and this is Sog's uh, Naturals line. These are all fully cooked sausages. This has it's all 100% chicken, has some apple in there with a little bit of uh, herbs and some spices. And then I'm also going to make them with these British style bangers. And this is part of Sog's classic. Again, this is a fully cooked sausage. This is a pork sausage and it has a little bit of breadcrumbs in there. And then also for the spicier style, I'm using Atomic Hots, which is a pretty spicy pork sausage. And it also has some beef in there as well. Here's a tip. When you're using fully cooked sausages, it's really important to score the sausages before you put them on the grill. That allows them to plump up, caramelize, and also allow the grill flavor to get into the sausage. And let me show you exactly what I mean. So here I have the, the banger, and I'm just taking a sharp knife and just simply cutting a line, oh, about an eighth of an inch into it, just like that, about an inch apart. Just drag my knife lightly over that, and then I simply lay it on the grill. And as you see here, as they're cooking, they plump up and they get nice and caramelized brown there and all that great grill flavor from my charcoal are going into the sausage. The reason they're called bangers is back in World War II days when they had limited supply of meat, they would add breadcrumbs, the leftover bread, to their sausage stuffing to you know, extend it. But when they cooked, the fat and the bread and the moisture would cause them to plump up again and explode, hence banging and that's why they're called bangers. Okay, so now the sausage is grilled. Now let me show you how I make my dressing. It starts out with some glue cheese, and I just let it warm or sit outside um, for about 10, 15 minutes. It gets nice and soft, and I'm gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise to that, and some buttermilk. And this is non-fat buttermilk, and you just stir it together like this, and this is a, a classic glue cheese sort of dressing. So now, take my bun, plop that out on the grill, I always like to toast the buns when I'm ever making a sausage sandwich uh, because it really brings out a lot of the great flavor from the bun and it also gives it a little bit of uh, crunch too. I love the contrast of textures on everything. So I want the bun to be soft on the inside, crunch on the outside. Same thing with my sausage. Crispy and smoky on the outside, nice and juicy on the inside. There we go, look at that. Beautiful, that's perfect. I'm gonna take the banger, put the banger right there. Just take a little bit of this blue cheese dressing, doesn't need a lot. I like to put it on the bread, so the bread sort of soaks it up. You could do it on both sides if you like. I'm a fan of the blue cheese. And then, the contrast, that tangy, sweet dressing. Some great buffalo wing sauce. You can use whatever brand you like. Man, that is tasty. Great creative way to use sausages on the grill. For some more great sausage grilling recipes and tips, check out the other videos at sogs.com. The thing what I like to work at Sogs is, well, I got all the tools to make the best sausage. I got the best ingredients, I got the best meat, I got the best equipment, and I can blend it together. And when it comes out the best, it's a joy to so look at it, smell it, taste it, and my day is done. <laughs>